All right, so this is what uh, 500 cards look like. This is the package. I think I showed it in a, uh, I don't know if I filmed it or posted a picture of it on uh, Instagram, but um, this is the order right here. It's all in this huge box. Um, so we're gonna go through these um, card by card. So let's just move the order over. <clears throat> Takes a little bit of effort here. I'm gonna put it on the ground and pull from it. So there it is on the ground now. And let's get to the first package right here. So we're just gonna go through this. I'll have to cut it, cut the video probably three times at least because uh, my battery won't last long enough to film this in one take. And also, my camera only can only record videos for a half hour, then it stops. I don't know why, but it's just what it does. It's not the best camera, but it will do the job for these videos. Um, and we'll kind of take a look at these sets. So we're starting off here with the Frank Thomas score. And uh, this is a set that I sent uh, probably like six or seven of these Frank Thomases in. And uh, I didn't do as well as I thought. Um, it might be the deceptive white borders, but a um, bunch of eights, nines. I think there were a couple tens. But, I mean, if you're sending a card like this in, you kind of need to get it. I mean, obviously get at least a nine. But, I mean, you're, you're kind of looking for tens on those. So uh, this was cool. This is an LT um, Fleer Hot Prospects rookie premier postmarks and I believe this one's numbered so 1775 a nice solid PSA 9 mint um, we have Piazza this is studio 98 uh, mint 9 so not the best grade on this one this is just for the uh, Piazza uh, registry a lot of the cards in this order are actually cards that I either bought on uh, CMC or eBay raw or I pulled them in packs um, this was a disappointment. This is a really cool insert. I think it's a pretty tough pull, but it's 97 showcase hot gloves chipper and it got a PSA 7 So I think on the back here you see these little flames coming up. I think we have some uh, I think it's just kind of getting peeled up a little bit and that might be how they deducted But uh, I'm not gonna snap any of these cards out and there's a few PSA fives, and I'm not. I'm not. Even, I'm just gonna put them. Put them on eBay as fives. <laughs> put like pop one because I don't think anybody's ever done that bad. But um, it's just tough sometimes. So here's a '98 Studio David Ortiz. So the same set as the Piazza. Um, I I wanted to get some David Ortiz and Manny Ramirez cards and start up those registries because they're players that I kind of watched growing up and into adulthood even. So there's a nine David Ortiz. Um, what's this one? <laughs> Okay, this is a disappointment. This is a really cool card. It's a 92 upper deck base Griffey Jr. with kind of the uh, uh, sequence here. So PSA 8 on that is pretty shabby. I mean, you're looking for at least a 9. You, you're pretty much going for a 10. I mean, you're, not, you're obviously not going to make a lot of money on some of these cards. And I think I took a chance by sending in a lot of like low, low end cards. And uh, my expectations were pretty high on them. So here's uh, Francisco Lindor. Um, Bowman Chrome, this is the Refractor Rookie PSA 9. These are not numbered, this is the draft, Bowman Chrome draft, um, but I, I'm, I'll definitely take a 9 on this, so a little Lindor. So this order has a ton of baseball, ton of football, that's kind of how it's split up. Here's an LT Private Stock Jersey 8, so a little shabby on that, but I mean I didn't expect any much more than an 8 or 8.5. I'm just going to throw this into the uh, registry. I've got a solid Tomlinson registry and I just wanted to build on it. Um, these are kind of, these are um, pretty easy PSA 10s because there's not a lot that can go wrong with these cards. Just check your surface, kind of tilt it like this into a light. If you see scratches, you're probably not going to get a 10, you're probably going to get an 8 or a 9, but um, when they're scratch free, I don't see any dents on the back. And I usually send them in if it's like David Johnson, Cooper, or Mariota, you know, players like that. And uh, they should be tens if if you did the job right. Um, here's an example of doing the job wrong. <laughs> so this is a Hot Prospects uh, Manning jersey, and my expectations on this were probably eight five to nine, and I got a what I got a six. So um, I looked at it again through the case, and I didn't see anything that would warrant a six. I don't know if there's like something going on with this uh, swatch, but it's a six. So I must have missed something on this one. So. Um, that'll go in the store. I don't know how much interest there will be for that card. Here's a cool Charles. Um, he's pretty much lost all his hobby. I think I picked up his exquisite. Actually, I, I know I did his exquisite 2008 
uh, patch auto for 35 bucks. So um, that's a lot it costs to get a Charles. The highest uh, yards per carry in NFL history. Um, this is a gold refractor 10. This one's out of 50. So a nice Charles there. We have a Tony Gwynn. I'm always looking to pick up Tony Gwynn's. And if the card's right and the condition's right, I will set it in a bulk order. Here's the finest 2001. And this is a PSA 10. Vic Beasley Jr. This is the base auto 10, so that's solid for the Falcons. That one's not numbered. The uh, bases are not numbered. We have another base here. We have Landon Collins base, so these both are not numbered. But I just told you that, right? <laughs> uh, this is a really low print run of Vic, two of ten, and it's the uh, Vanguard Red, two of ten. Uh, beautiful card. It was actually, I think it was a Beckett Mint 9, and I snapped it, and then I saw the surface scratches, and I was like, oh, that's going to be like an 8 or 7. <laughs> but uh, I wanted it for the registry. I don't know if that'll be in the registry, but I'm going to do a, if somebody could post this in the comment section, how I go about contacting PSA to add a card to a particular uh, registry, that'd be helpful for me. I'm always looking for some help from people in the hobby. Um, here's a Manny. 96 upper deck hot commodities this is kind of um, the start of a, a bunch of manis you're going to see in this order because I'm starting up a manny registry. We have David Johnson. This is kind of like on track with the platinum. So f finest platinum and tops chrome from 15 are all easy sets. Um, you're not going to have too many problems with those. Here's another platinum based David Johnson who's actually out till like December so I don't know. It's a tough blow for the Cardinals. And then we have a second year Randy Moss. This is a uh, Fleer um, under pressure. Not sure if it's a tough in, so I don't think it's too tough. But um, it is Moss. I'll throw this in to the registry. So th there's a bunch of PS PC cards in this order. Um, so that's just kind of the way it broke down. This was a Beckett 9 that I snapped out. And I paid the 6 bucks to get it uh, in the PSA holder. So I don't know. I mean, you guys can... To a lot of people, that's definitely not worth it. It just depends on the collector. Everybody has different goals, you know. But I, I think the main focus is to try to have fun with it and not be too obsessed with the uh, monetary aspect of this whole grading. And I'm going to go through two of these. Uh, UD Victory Michael Vick Gold. So I, I didn't have this card at all. I didn't have it raw. Uh, I must have bought this raw off, I think, COMC, and it just came in clean. It happens every once in a while. You get a clean card from there. I sent it in and got a 10 on that, so that was cool. Um, we've got a Craig Biggio. This is a cool Hall of Famer. Uh, 3,000 hit PSA 10 from 1989 Donruss. This was pack pulled, so. And then when, when I get through the whole video, I think I'm going to pick out my 10 favorite cards from the order. And you guys can kind of discuss that and what were your favorites and your biggest surprises. Jordan Howard score, PSA 9. So um, you're kind of looking for 10s on these. This is a very easy set. The cards come crisp out of the pack. Modern card. Uh, here's one for the Manny Registry. So an, I'll, I'll definitely take a 9 on this foil because the foil gets etched and dinged up a little bit. So uh, here's a Manny 93 foil, PSA 9 mint. Um, this is badass. Uh, Leaf Gold Stars Griffey 10. So this one's also numbered. It's a cool insert from back in the day out of 10,000. So definitely a cool, neat card right there. Okay. Um, this is another Griffey insert 97 Flair Showcase Diamond Cuts. And this one is a PSA 9 Mint. I think this is actually a pretty tough insert. So there's a mint nine. We have a LeBron rookie exclusives. I think this came in like a box set, but a PSA 10 on this one. So there's a, the LeBron, and these are pretty easy cards to grade. Um, this is 87 Donruss. This is just pack pulled stuff. I I had a huge order in May from uh, Baseball Card Exchange, and I just wanted to have some fun with breaking the the packs and seeing the players, you know, I, that I collected as a child, and then maybe finding some candidates and. There were candidates that I saw in my eye, and uh, I don't know if PSA, they must have had a different take on it because some of the grades. Uh, Donnie Baseball, 86 tops. This is a neat card, mid-9, so 
take it. It's off center, obviously. I don't know. I, I guess I didn't notice that, or I mean, I don't know. It's tough when you're looking at 300 cards or 200 cards a night with the the loop and light. I think your eyes get tired after a while. Uh, hot commodities. We saw the Manny earlier. Here's the Griffey from '96, 10. That's beautiful. We have a card you don't see that often. It's probably definitely not rare, but it's the playoff uh, momentum retail version of Moss. So these were only available in retail. And a mint nine on that. And I know this brown football type look gets chipped up a lot when I when I look at cards on this raw. So a mint nine's great. Um, we have uh, Nolan Ryan. <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened, guys. I think for a lot of people that send the PSA when you do bulk orders there's some uh, head scratches that come th throughout the order so this might have like a surface wrinkle on the back that I didn't properly tilt and see um, but here's a PSA 5 so this might be a pop on so that's a very rare card right there um, Jameis Winston this is the college base version um, definitely not a rare card but he actually sells as well and I don't collect them so <laughs> That'll go in the store. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have a lot of new cards for the store. Uh, PSA 10, Griffey Soaring Stars. Neat card. Didn't have it. Throw it into the registry. That's nice. That's badass. Um, I got this out of a either a pack or a uh, vending box. So 10s um, on this are worth like five, 600 bucks. So PSA 9 goes for about 50 So this uh, that's a badass Gwen. And I'm a huge fan of this card if you watch the channel. So... Uh, nice PSA 9 Mint, Tony Gwynn. And I'm impressed by these uh, lighthouse holders. They're really cool. Here's an AJ Green. This is an 8.5. Um, just a sticker auto from 11 Upper Deck. So 8.5 on that one. Here is a rare Griffey. That's freaking badass. I, I haven't seen probably, I don't know, 10 or 20 cards in the order. I looked through most of them. But... Um, I know this card is like 20 bucks raw, raw, so in a 10 form. Obviously, I won't be selling it because it'll go into the registry, but that's sweet. That's a Fleer Zone 97 Griff. So, um, here's a score Frank Thomas, PSA 10. Um, I bought like a, a lot of 50 of these, and I think I sent like 10 of them in. I thought they were 10 candidates, so. This is pretty shabby. Right off the bat, you can see it's off center, so I guess I didn't pay too much attention to that. Um, and there must be something else going on. So, an eight on this triple play Piazza. Sorry, Randy. Uh, this is badass. Uh, UD graded portrait breeze 10. And this might have been a Beckett 95 snap. So, uh, the reason I snapped them out um, is because I like to get an unbiased view from the grader. And I don't care what people say. If you have a different company staring at a different company's card and case, you're not going to get the same result. That's just my opinion. And uh, I just want an unbiased opinion. So, 93 Bowman Manny, 9. I was hoping for a 10 on this, but I'll definitely take a 9 for the registry. And for a lot of these, like, uh, Manny cards, if I get an 8, 5, or 9, I'm just going to call it a day. Put those in the registry and uh, move on to other cards. Here's a cool Vlad. Um, Bowman's best, 98. Um... What else to say about it? Sorry, it's 96, but it's uh, I bought it for like 50 cents on COMC. You get some great deals on there, and there's a lot of stuff that's just crazy overpriced. Here's an electric diamond, uh, Alex Rodriguez, 8. That's shit, pretty shabby. So uh, that's store material right there. Here's a Michael Vick card. Um, that's it's not bad. Um, I didn't have this one graded, so this is an Aspirations. Can't remember if it was graded by Beckett. It was probably a Beckett nine. So that's an aspirations out of ninety three eight. And then we have, of course, we gotta have an SPX, right? And um, I didn't have high expectations for this. I just wanted it slabbed. I'm j I just get slab happy. So there's a Vic SPX. And and I know that there are different opinions on grading in the hobby, and I think people are entitled to their own opinions on it. Um, it's not for everybody. Some people think it's a sham, and they're entitled to that opinion. The people that choose to grade, I think, should, you know, have the respect that um, they're doing this with their own time and money, and they know what they're getting themselves into, so that's kind of my stance on it. Uh, 93 Bowman Gwynn, PSA 9, so not too great, not terrible. Uh, Mariota, Prism, Base, 10. Like I said on the David Johnsons, this is just a 
I mean, it's an easy set if, if you're doing your job. Here's a Moss Ultra. That's solid. Mint 9. This isn't the toughest set, although, although it is one of my favorite um, Moss cards of all time. And you can get these raw for like, I don't know, three to five bucks. So that's a steal, in my opinion. Uh, Marshawn Lynch, Refractor, Mint 9. Is this numbered? I think it is. No, it's not. I was thinking 500 for some reason. We have Andre Johnson, The Sky is the Limit. Um, just a low tier insert, 10. But he, he has a shot at the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he'll get in or not. There's a lot of uh, wide receivers, so there might be kind of a uh, log jam effect there. Here's the SP from Topps Prime, Jarvis Landry, 9. So I was hoping for a 10 on this because this set's really easy, so I must have missed something. Um, this was just out of a pack, so not the best grade for a 96 Topps Quinn. Um, cards like this, I'm, I'll probably put this in the store, but I mean, I'm mean i going to break even on these. I'll probably sell it for about, I don't know, 6 bucks, and uh, that was the grading fee. So I kind of look at it as a scratch if I'm not going to keep it. Uh, I think 8s I might lose a little bit, but... Um, <clears throat> that that's just kind of kind of the, some of the things that I th think about when I'm doing an order of this uh, magnitude because it's definitely not cheap. So here's a Brett 89 Donruss MVP 10. This is just from my uh, wax boxes at Donruss that I broke. Um, Tony Gwynn 85. So that's not the best job there. We have a Cal 9. So um, on these I was hoping for 10s because. I uh, broke the cards fresh from the packs, and I looked them over. I thought, well, but, um, you know, I'm not perfect, and uh, I don't catch everything, so it is what it is. Uh, this is badass, though. I, th I think I have a pretty good eye for this set, too, so I might try to send in some raw Griffies in the next order. But I think I kind of know what what y you need in terms of centering, and uh, the problem people have with this set is they don't, they don't put the uh, corners and edges underneath a, a light because if, if you look at one of these cards from the naked eye you're gonna always think oh it looks great it looks great unless the cards like dinged in but but when you get it under the light there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes with this set um, 91 Donruss Griffey MVP 9 don't, don't think I had this one graded so this will go nice in the registry this will go straight to the store because um, I'm not a huge fan of the card and I know somebody will want this it's a uh, Stars Red Brady. I got it in a pack. And, uh, you know, if these days if you pull Tom Brady in packs, you should probably put them aside. And if you like to grade, grade them and create some value. Uh, LeBron Bazooka Base 8.5. Not bad. Let's get the next box ready. We're just going to keep turning these out. I'm going to film as much as I can. Charge the battery. Try to get this video up uh, late into the night. Here's an Edge Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor 7, so that's pretty shabby. But I didn't have high expectations for this card. I bought it raw. It was expensive. I think it was like 70 bucks. but you don't see these ever. It's out of 25. It's an Edge rookie. You guys know I have a lot of respect for Edge and the way he played, carried himself. Um, this is uh, the Redemption Special of uh, City Heights LeBron for the registry. 10. It's solid. And we have some Derek Jeters coming up. So Here's a Zenith 9. This is 95, so a third year card. It, it says rookie. I mean, you. I don't know. Some people would list it as a rookie. I don't think I will. And that's just, I don't know, my, my opinion on it. Here's a 10 from the same set. So these were all just buys off of COMC. Um, I like how when you buy a card off there, they don't use stock photos. So you can kind of narrow down... The condition of the cards if you're looking to grade and I've also bought a bunch of cards on there where I'm not looking to grade just to throw in the binder uh, vintage stuff so it's just a good site to have in the hobby um, 95 tops Jeter 7 so I don't know I, I, I did bad on this in an or order in the past and I I can't get it right now either so it's a 7 on this and that's a disappointment here's a cool Griffey I didn't have um, Fleer Baseball All-Stars 1990 this was another uh, COMC Mint 9, I'll, I'll take that. This is a really cool one for the uh, David Ortiz 10 on the 98 Ultra. This is a second year David Ortiz card, but in the Twins uniform, playing first base there. That's neat. Um, here's another 89 Donruss. There's a couple of these. 
and they're both pretty average so John Smoltz 9 and then John Smoltz 9 so a couple of 9's for Smoltzy uh, here's a Piazza this is pretty subpar effort 8.5 on the 94 upper deck I just always love this set but I know it's going to be a, a bit of a challenge even though this was pack pulled with the uh, black borders or just the little black parts of the card um, here's a Carson Wentz card this is a prestige just a base 10 so this set's really, really easy too. This was just a, I bought this card raw on eBay and it looked nice so I sent it in. I probably won't keep it so I'm not a huge fan of the card. Uh, but it's like the SP version 10 of Trap. <clears throat> Here's an Amari Cooper um, Prestige College 10. And then we have, this was a cool set. It's got like the jersey in the background, but uh, 93 Studio Piazza, this is a nine, so. And then I struggled a little with this 82 Donruss. This is just out of a wax box that I broke to try to pull some Cal Ripkins over the summer, an eight on this one. Um, we've got a Beckham, and there's a little story behind this uh, Future Watch set from 2014. So the Derek Carr Raw, I think, has been going for like 40 or 50 bucks, and uh, Basically because it's the same design as the Tom Brady, so it's pretty wild. But um, here's a Beckham 10 out of 999. We have a Cal. Here's one of the pack pulled. Um, eight looks like uh, Ray Liotta. I've always thought that about this card. <laughs> a uh, young, young Ray Liotta because he's only 21 here. So there's Cal. Um, this is cool. Didn't have it. 93 score Griffey 10, and I think. Uh, four sharp corners has this one, but it's expensive, like like thirty bucks. And I I figured I'd try try myself first. Um, I like to do that sometimes. And the same with this. I don't think I had this one slabbed either. Ninety three Fleer. So a bunch of additions to some of my key uh, registries. Don't know how high I'll bump up, but I'm trying. The efforts there. Uh, chipper Bowman ninety four. So this is a fourth year chipper. But to me, it's still in um, pretty early in his career he hadn't even made it to the show yet so it's a neat card to me um this is just pretty bad <laughs> select piazza seven so don't know what to say about that but just pretty rough like i i definitely wouldn't send that card in if i thought it was a seven <laughs> my expectation on pretty much every card in this order <clears throat> aside from a few is a uh, nine or higher <coughs> Let me get some water. <clears throat> Alright, we have uh, Francisco Lindor. <clears throat> Voice went out. Eight, so this is shabby. This is like a 2010 Topps uh, USA card. And I bought a lot of these on uh, eBay for like a, a dollar a card. And I found the best ones, or so I thought. Same card, nine. <clears throat> Very easy set, and this is a set that I broke back in the day. 12 Spa, 10 Russell Wilson. Uh, Mark Cooper Black Refractor, 10. That's neat. Here's a Trout. This is like a uh, rising alumni. I don't know if it was like a uh, minor league set that they just handed out at the games, but that's probably somebody that knows some information on this card. But a mint 9, so... Early, early trap. Here's a Brady Prison Base 9. So I was thinking this would be a 10, but I must have missed something on it. Not sure what, though. Um, this is pretty shabby. I just wanted this card slab because it's just a badass card. Look at the shine on that. This is two, 02 Elite, and then he's in the um, Miami uniform. It's out of 400. He's a Hall of Famer, obviously. But uh, I was hoping for an eight, eight, five on this. I, a, a seven. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, here's a couple more of those tops uh, Lindors. Here's a ten. I'll save the other one for later. I want to show this Frank. Uh, Frank Thomas. This is a mint nine. So I was expecting a nine or higher on these. So I'll I'll take the nine. So. I probably won't keep all the Frank Thomas 9, so check them out in the store. Uh, Mark Cooper Prism 8, so I definitely missed something here. Um, 
could be just a little uh, wrinkle on the edge. That's kind of what can bring a card to, down to an eight. Um, if there was some white pushing up, you could probably bring it down to a nine, but um, that's just kind of the standards that you should expect when you're sending off to PSA. Um, triple play, pack pulled Griffey. Kind of an interesting card. He's throwing the bat at the ball, I think. Mint nine. Here's a Manny. This is badass. Uh, Electric Diamond 95 from ComC. <coughs> Is that one? If I hold the cards like this, I get that glare. So I'm trying to just tilt back a little bit, and I think they're showing up pretty well on this. My camera's weird because uh, sometimes it'll film in 720, then sometimes it's 1080p. So I don't know. Uh, badass v Vlad, 97 Donra. So a third year Vlad and uh, Mint Nine, which is really good on this set because they're always chipped up out of 10,000. So there's a badass Vlad. This was a. Uh, Vintage experiment. Um, I bought this on ComC for like 250, and I just—it looked like a six, six five maybe. It got a five, so I don't know. I'm just kind of starting the vintage uh, grading, and I'm kind of uh, weary of it because a lot of cards could be miscut, trimmed, altered. So I mean, it could just be a huge waste of money. But I'm gonna try it for the channel. Uh, 91 Fleer, Frank Thomas nine. This is just a lot of people think this set is uh, like a uh, really ugly. Uh, barfable set <laughs> I don't know what word to use but I actually like it uh, UD Game Gear 01 LT 9 so it's out of 500 and here's a Harper I'm not sure what he's doing with his hair I think it's pretty weird with the, the dreadlocks I hope he, that was just kind of for fun uh, Tops 100 not that I really care about his hairstyle but Let's keep things uh, somewhat normal. Here's some more. Uh, we have a Lindor. This is the base, not the refractor. Mint 9. This is shabby. I was expecting a PSA 10 on this. Um, 93 SB Piazza 8. It's a second year Piazza. And here's a third year Piazza. Boys of Summer. Kind of a cool... Uh, set that they did score used to do so 8.5 on that we got a Beckham these are really easy and they, they usually come out of the pack not scratch so this is the 97 uh, hologram of Beckham from 14 SPX uh -huh. this is rough an 8 on this 87 Fleer cow so just something I got in a pack Uh, Russell Wilson, this is the 93 SP insert, mint 9. Here's the score hot rookies, mint 9 on that one too. This is just kind of a neat card, uh, 97 Bowman Chrome Vlad, mint 9. Ninety-four collector's choice. This is the silver signature chipper ten on this one, and this should be not the toughest set because you have white, but it could be deceptive as well. Kind of like the eighty-nine upper deck. Um, this is cool. So a mint nine, and this is very good in my opinion. These are uh, Toys R Us cards from nineteen ninety. Griffey. I know the ten in this goes for like a hundred, hundred and fifty. So. Nine's worth about 20. Uh, here's a Piazza score select, 8.5, so did a little better on that one. Better than the 7. But still, I'm mean, kind of hoping for 9s uh, or higher on those. It's, not a, it's like a 50 cent card. Uh, Peyton Manning, Fireworks 10. So That's actually a great product, 2015 Prism Football. I mean, there's tons of cards you can send into Slab. You get a bunch of uh, colored stuff. Bowman Chrome stock in the game, Dan Marino 10. So, just a cool little Dan Marino insert. Here's a Barry Larkin. So, this 8's pretty shabby. And I, some of these sets, I just cannot, I don't know what I'm doing, but I just cannot um, determine, like, a mint card or not. So, I don't know what I missed on some of these. It looks like it's centered well. So, something I'm not picking up. Uh, here's a Breeze 8.5 on the UD Victory, and then uh, this 6, so I don't know if there's like a fold or a wrinkle, but 
There's a PSA 6, so. Another pop one. Alright, um, 95 Emotion Masters, um, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, this one is a Midnight. John Elway, we have a, uh, 2015 Prism Hall of Fame, PSA 10. And here's a, uh, cards like this, I'm getting pretty, pretty adventurous, and in a Ricky Henderson downrest base, but he's such a cool player, and, uh, I thought it was a 10, so, what are you gonna do? Aside from take it. <laughs> uh, the Variation SP of Breeze, this is an 8, so... We have a, another one of those Lindors. This is the 10 from 2010 Tops USA. I'm gonna have to order some more Perfect Fit sleeves for these. I guess I have some. I think I have some at home that I can use. It's like the greatest company ever. Uh, Lindor Base Chrome from 2011-10. Here's a Khalil Mack Tops Chrome. And this is actually a tough set. Um, they're either off-centered, and this one's kind of off-centered, but they let it slide, or they're a scratch on the surface. So, neat card. Um, I saw this. This set's the boxes have uh, risen in price. I think it's like sixty-five to seventy bucks for a box of that. Man, that's that's terrible value. If you're breaking that, you're gonna get ten bucks back every time, or most of the time. Uh, Ninety-one Bowman, Jeff Bagwell, mint nine. But there's certain products, I want to talk about this in a future video, that after a certain period, the the card prices drop, because you know, like 2015 stuff's not as hot now as it was two years ago, because people are buying 2017, but the box prices are going up, so they're doing like the opposite uh, reaction, and it's just, it's not uh, worth it to break it anymore, unless you don't care about your money. Uh, this is a score draft gold Bosa 10, so that was kind of an adventurous send in, but I, I got to 10, so I'm, those type of cards, like you, you kind of need a ten, or you're, you're wasting your time. Uh, here's a Vic upper deck. There's a couple of these. So I didn't do too well on these. Well, I mean, mint nine's good, but this isn't the toughest set. And there's an eight. So this is cool though. Uh, Prestige Fitzgerald ten. Uh, <laughs> here's a laugher, guys. PSA 5, Mike Mussina, so. It's like I'm sending a card from the 1960s. Oh, PSA 5, it's pretty good. No, it's a 91 card that I got in a pack. Pretty sad. Uh, pretty shameful. <laughs> Ozzy Smith 8 from 83 Donruss. I need to put on some music or something. Jarvis Landry. Tops Chrome 14, Mint 9. Uh, Mookie Betts, Hometown 8, so that's pretty disappointing on that one. Here's, a, here's another Mookie. This is just his base paper rookie 8, so very shabby. So this box is pretty, <laughs> not doing too well in this box. Um, but we're coming back with the Jerry Rice 92 upper deck. I just got this in a pack. That I had at Christmas time. I was like, oh, it looks pretty clean. It's white bordered. It's Jerry Rice. Throw it in the candidates pile. Here's a Ben Intendi Chrome Rookie 10. Another Jerry Rice. I'm not the biggest Rice fan, but he was, you, you, you've got to respect the player. Uh, 10 from Score 93. Here's a George Brett 9 from 91 uh, Bowman. So just a bunch of uh, Hall of Fame baseball players and football players in this one. Uh, Dak Prescott, Rookie of the Year contenders, mint nine. Here's a Zeke, contenders draft pick or uh, game day tickets ten. Uh, Dwayne Wade, tops 03 rookie eight. And Barry Sanders, tops traded nine. So. That's it for that box. All right, next box. Uh, it's gonna be a uh, uh, Zeke. 
This is a uh, 2016 uh, Panini draft board, PSA 10. Pretty easy set, pretty good card. Uh, Trout, Bowman Platinum. Uh, this is a PSA 9, and uh, overall nice looking card too. Uh, Victor Robles. He just got called out. I don't know how much he's been playing, but uh, 25, 16 Bowman Platinum rookie, uh, PSA 10. So nice looking one there. Um, here is an Ichiro 2001 Bowman Draft Picks, PSA 9. Pretty solid with the uh, black borders. So satisfied with that for sure. Here's a badass Brady. I kind of snuck this one in. Um, sometimes if the uh, Declared value. Um, I mean, this card's kind of like a borderline card. It sells for, I think, around 90 bucks. It might be more, but uh, 8.5. I think sometimes it sells over. That's why I snuck it in. But 8.5 on this metal Brady, so that's beautiful. And I didn't do too well on this Bonds. 87 tops. Um, I was expecting a 9 or higher on this one. I had a few copies from PAX, and uh, this was the best one, and it garnered an 8. So. Nothing to write home about there. Um, here's another Bezio 10 from Donruss 89. So that's beautiful. Uh, this was a pack pulled Clemens 85 tops 8. So not terrible, not great. Pretty average grade on this one 8. Not sure what an 8 goes for. I'm going to guess like 15 bucks. I know 10s go for a ton now, but we didn't get a 10. Uh, Manny 92 Fleer XL. This will look great in the registry. So maybe I'll do a Manny Ramirez uh, registry video after I get all these cards processed in. Um, pretty shaky here. I think there was something going on in the back corner. Um, an 8 collector's choice, Alex Rodriguez, rookie. Still looks cool slab though. There's the back of that, kind of like an action shot. Pretty neat. Uh, Chipper Bowman, 8. This is pretty rough. So we had a nine of this card in uh, earlier in the order, and here's one of the best cards of the order right here. Uh, 93 score, Derek Jeter 10. So I was stoked to get this. Um, this was just a. I either got it in a pack. I don't think I got it in a pack. I don't think I pulled this score ever. I think I bought this one off of uh, eBay raw. So I'm I'm always hunting for gems raw. It's really really tough, but when you get one, it just feels great. Um, here's some Bowman's. So a couple of eight, so definitely not too great on these Bowmans. Um, eight. This is a tough set, though. Honestly. So two eights. Um, I didn't have like crazy high expectations for the Bowmans. I kind of just wanted to get them slabbed. And then here's a nine, so we did a little bit better on the third Bowman. And uh, I think nines are worth like thirty bucks. So an eight is probably fifteen to twenty. And raw, this card goes about ten to fifteen. So kind of not too much value to be gained on those ones uh, Bowman foils so I thought these looked pretty damn good these were bought off of ComC and they're both 8.5 so that's not terrible because this foil um, I had some other examples of this card that I just stashed for the uh, binders because they were just dinged up they were probably like sixes but these are my best examples of it 8.5 not terrible I'll keep one or I'll put one in the store um, here's a 95 upper deck minor league Jeter 10, that's badass. Don't know if you see this card graded in a 10 too often, so I was stoked when this one came in. And then here's another one of the best cards in the order. Um, Tops 93 Jeter 10, so that's just filth. And this is a tough set too, so that's really, really good. There's a 10 on that one. So there are some great cards in this order. Highlights and uh, lowlights for sure. Here's some thicker cards. Actually, here's the here's the cards that didn't get slabbed. Here's my uh, submission form. So um, it got processed in 621, and I got it back last Wednesday. So I got it back on the seventh. So um, I think that's pretty damn efficient for an order this big. Um, PSA often gets people complaining about the turnaround time when it takes when it takes a long time, but when the cards are uh, 
when the cards come back quickly it seems like they don't get any praise so it's just all complaining about the cards not coming fast enough but but no praise for when they're quick that's something i've noticed about people that send the psa um here's some griffey so we got the upper deck predictor this is the retail uh, redemption psa 10 that's badass i don't know if that's in the registry if not i can send a a uh, request for them um <laughs> pretty experimental with this Gwyn. I, I just like these Diamond Kings. I, I thought it would get at least a 9, but it got an 8. So 94 downers Diamond Kings, Tony Gwynn, 8. Uh, Cal Ripken, that's got Mark McGuire in the background if you look close. Um, so a 10 on this one. This is the, the 95 downers. I sent a, f a few of these in of uh, Hall of Fame players just looking for 10s. And then we have Edge. This is sweet. This is the purple S SP Auto. So this one is hand number 200 on the front there. 8.5. That's solid. Uh, here's a Beckham Illumination Prism from last year's Panini Prism 10. So, that's nice. Uh, this was badass. Uh, EX, I don't. I didn't have this in a 10. And this is a Vic 10, so this will look great in the uh, registry for, for Vic. So, PSA 10 on this one. Great card. Stash that. I've, I've got a pile over here for PC cards and then stuff that's going in the store. Um, here's a badass Pedro. Donruss 93, I broke some boxes of this stuff. It's always a fun rip for 10 bucks. And I got this Pedro 10. Just a great looking car. This is a, what, third year Pedro? But still an early Pedro to where it's uh, neat to have slabbed, in my opinion. Here's the Piazza 9. So the Dodgers had some young studs on that 93 team. Eric Carros, too. Here's a Griffey Diamond Kings. I was definitely satisfied with the, the Mint 9 on this one because I didn't have it slabbed. So maybe I can move up on my King Griffey Jr. I think I'm number 12 on the, the Master set, so I'd like to get into the top 10 at some point. Here's um, Studio, King Griffey Jr. Gold. This is 10. It's like a, It looks like a credit card. It's actually a pretty neat card, the way they set these up. I, I remember these back in the day. I thought they were really cool when I was a kid. So in 95, I would have been 11 years old. Here is an experimental Ricky. It's not actually experimental. I just bought it raw, and he was claiming it was uh, near mint mint. And it came back uh, near mint. So I, I think that's pretty good. I don't remember what I paid for it raw, but I'm satisfied with the 7. That's such a cool card. I think I have a mint 9 at home. 10s are obviously definitely not in my price range. It, it's... It, it might be an 8, though. I think uh, 9s are pretty expensive, too. Here's a Reggie Jackson 9. Um, this is Fleer 82, just something out of a wax box. It looks pretty cool slab, though. Uh, this is cool. Select Certified Mirror Gold 95 Manny 9. Look, look at that leg kick. Look how high up that leg is. These are really... These cards are ahead of their time. Look how beautiful that card is. And the... the uh, Refractage on that. I got that from Topps 85401. Um, here's a Diamond Kings 95, Frank Thomas 8. So a little shabby on that one. We got 82, 83 Fleer, so a second year Cal. What? This isn't the rookie, is it? No, Cal's 82. So PSA 9 on this. Not great, not terrible. Uh, Wade Boggs rookie from 83 Fleer, 8. I think those these last two were out of a uh, vending box that I just bought for the hell of it. So Wade Boggs 8. Victor uh, Robles Orange from Topps Pro Debut 8.5. I think this is out of 25. Yeah, 25 on the top there. So an 8.5 on that, which isn't terrible. I don't know how his, how his cards have done since he got called up. If When most prospects get called up, if they don't like go crazy, then their stuff drops dramatically by like 50%, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, some Frank Thomas uh, 1990s, so mint nines. This is probably like a maybe a ten dollar card in mint nine, and then probably like five bucks in an eight. So did pretty shabby. Two nines in an eight. I don't even think we're halfway done. Uh, Griffey Jr. This is cool. Bomb Squad from '94 Triple Play mint nine. Put that in the PC stack. Um, we have the LT Donruss Elite 9. This is just a beautiful card. These Elite cards stand the test of time. They're great. So that's out of 500. Um, this was solid. This is such a neat card. It's Hot Gloves 97 Showcase Griffey. 
and I bought this raw for like 60 bucks back in the spring and uh, definitely gonna look good in the registry. I'll probably put this one in the display case. Uh, Patrick Kane, this is the base out of 599. So here's a hockey card, 85. That's a UD Artifacts 07. So a hockey card. Um, here's another Edge, one of those uh, level 2 purples, 200. This one got an 8. The last one got an 85. So did pretty good on those, all things considered. Uh, Fred Taylor. Now this is an SP Authentic on card. I've been buying these up for like 7 bucks a piece. Here's an 8. Um, it's got green borders. You often see the uh, mosses in this too. Um, I do have some Moss 9s, but I don't think I don't have any 10s. So there's a Fred Taylor 8, which is a neat looking card. I'll probably put that one in the store because I have a 9 of that. Uh, this is cool. Leaf Limited Gold All Stars from 94 Griffey. So there's a ton of Griffeys in this uh, out of 10,000. And this next one coming up is pretty sweet. So a Mint 9 on that. This is cool. Uh, white Hot, which uh, there were two different subsets. One was uh, Red Hot and one was White Hot. And this one got a mint nine, which is pretty damn solid. I think I bought this off of uh, eBay in an auction for around 20 bucks. So a mint nine. That'll go on the display too. So I got some display candidates too. And then this one was nice too. This is a tough insert from 99 Ultra Diamond Producers. And it's a really uh, unique card, the type of uh, stock they used on it. If you actually feel one of these, can't even describe it. It's like plastic or something. So. There's the front and the back of that one. Uh, Tops Chrome 04, Eli Manning, Mint 9, that's solid. Great card. We have Tory Holt. This is a score uh, rookie preview auto, Mint 9, from 99. Here is a, I uh, did kind of shabby in this, but the, the borders are red, so Tory Holt. Uh, Holographics Auto, not numbered, mid, uh, near mid 7, and then we have a cool Sean Alexander Bowman Reserve Auto 10, this is pretty sweet. Um, he probably won't get in the Hall of Fame, it's probably, I don't know if it's too late by now, but um, he still, I think he rushed for uh, 100 touchdowns in his career. He, he didn't hit the 10,000 uh, 10, milestone, but... Here's an Andre Johnson turn of the century 03 Elite to 125. A solid PSA 9. It's getting a lot of glare on that thing. But that's solid right there. Uh, Tim Brown, PSA 10. This is an SP Authentic, like short, short print auto. On card, PSA 10 from 14 Spa. We've got, uh, this is really nice. Upper Deck Game Gear Tomlinson to 510. And this is tough with the uh, red borders there and then the backs all red too so most of the time when you see one of these they're chipped up but this one was just in great condition that'll probably go in my top 10 cards of the order uh tory holt top stars on card auto beautiful card you can get these for probably 10 bucks or so for uh i think it'll be in the hall of fame eventually so psa 9 in that one uh and this one got a 10 so great great on this on the holt top stars autos And then a cool Peyton Manning 2008 Donruss Elite Aspirations Blue to 82, mid 9. Then we have LT. This is a um, dual jersey to 300 out of 01 SPX near mid 8. So not bad on that. Next box. Uh, 1990 Bowman Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 10. That's, that's awesome. That's such a cool card. I like this one better than the the uh, 1989 rookie. Something that always bothered me about that was how the card was uh, longer. It was like taller. Um, this is solid. 95 Donruss Diamond Kings Griffey Mint 9. So tons of Griffies in this order. And then also I, I sent a 500 card order out the end of August. And there's a ton of Griffies in that one too, I, I believe. Ton of Mosses too. Here's a triple play Frank Thomas Mint 9. So... This was just out of a pack. Um, here's a hockey card. Got this in a pack too. I broke a couple boxes of this. Um, Jack Eichel, OPG Platinum, 15, 10. That's neat. Uh, Mancata. This is uh, the the Tops base rookie from 17 Tops. He's still in the Boston uniform, but he's still uh, hovering around a 200 average, but his on base is up over 300. So we'll see how he pans out eventually. 
Uh, Beckham Spa, this is just a, a base PSA 10. Here's the Cooks. Um, this is the, the Future Watch Gold to 99, 10. This is probably a pretty big card, considering how much this set's gone up. And uh, hobby boxes have soared. I still have some sealed cases of that 14 Spa. Here's a Trout, just 17 tops. I don't think it's a variation. This is just the base, mint 9, but it looked good, and I thought it was a 10. And there's not too much that can go wrong with these you know, 17 tops cards, I don't think. Um, another Griffey, 91 score. Rifleman, a, a really low end insert, but it looked good, so PSA 10 on that one. Here's a Trout, one of those minor league issued cards. This is a uh, Rising Alumni number one. It's got blue and mint nine on that. Here is an Illumination Prism, Cam Newton, PSA 10. So, I mean, these are easy. As long as you're not scratched up or, or dinged, you should be good for a 10 on those. Here's a Piazza. Here's a cup. Here's um, some 2005 tops, just base cards. So Piazza with the the Fu Manchu, <laughs> Mint Nine playing for the Mets, and then uh, Griffey PSA 10 on that one. That's a neat one. Uh, 91 score chipper PSA 10. It's nice. This is the, it's not the base, it's the Artist Proof. You can see that right there. This is always a cool photo that they did. So uh, 95 Pinnacle Griffey, it's a huge bubble. I mean, obviously it's fake, but it looks pretty real. <laughs> uh, Moss, Skybox Premium, this is cool. PSA 10 on this one. Always loved this set as a kid. Busted some packs of it back in 98 too. Here's a chipper. Um, this was just out of a wax box. PSA 10, 96 Studio. And then a 1988 Downrest Tony Gwynn. So a pretty early Tony Gwynn card. Mint 9. We've got uh, 88 Score Cal 10. That's sweet. And then uh, Manny, 98 Tops 10. So that's gonna go in the registry let's see what what they didn't grade so there's a pretty big stack but I mean let's consider also that we sent 500 cards in so this Walter Payton rookie got um, a minimum size zero so this is a card I've thrown around many times and uh, still uh, haven't gotten it slapped I think it was a PSA 9 OC and I snapped it here's a uh, Griffey um, it got altered so somebody like tried to color these I don't know what people why people do that Altered on the Hot Gloves 94, altered on the Griff on the Frank Elite 94, altered on the Griffey, <laughs> altered Vic, UD graded 01, uh, minimum size zero on this Fitzgerald. I don't know why they can't put it in the soft sleeve. And then uh, minimum size zero on this Jeter. Doesn't look like it's in that great condition, anyways. Miss cut 83 tops, Dave Winfield, and then we have this badass Moss uh, Heritage Collection from 98 Fleer to 125. Um, they are saying it is minimum size zero, or I don't know why I always say that. So, somebody pointed out minimum size requirement. <laughs> it's not minimum size zero. I just always say that. All right, battery's dying. Got to charge up. All right, here we go. Um, this is gonna be. Continuation. Let's keep going. So I don't have this one slab, but it's a 1988 Pro Cards King Griffey Jr. and it's a seven. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a nine in this. I've seen an eight. Uh, I've seen nine OCs, but uh, very tough set, just the way they were cut. So the uh, Pro Cards Griffey. Don't know what I'll do with that one. I'll probably put that one in the store and try to get an eight or eight five. Here's a girly uh, Prism, ten from fifteen. Uh, Trey Turner. 16 Bowman, uh, and this is the uh, orange paper to 25. So a nice Trey Turner there. He's a, he's a good little player. Uh, Mike Evans, Future Watch Gold, and uh, this is out of 99. PSA 10. We've got the Evans uh, Tops Prime variation, ball and right arm. That's what they call it. PSA 10 on that one. Uh, Tomlinson tops 01 PSA 8 so did a little shabby on that one but uh, you can't have them all as we've seen in this order already there's a lot of 
a lot of good and a lot of bad. Uh, 92 Fleer Cal Ripken 10. That's pretty neat. That was just a uh, from a uh, pack. The, the same with this one. Uh, Nolan Ryan 89 Donruss Mint 9. So I was hoping for a 10 on that, but that is all centered a little bit, a little fatter on the right side. Uh, we have a Goldschmidt Chrome 11 base rookie Mint 9 on this one. Uh, Mike Evans tops platinum. We got two of these. These are pretty easy sets too. It's kind of like 15 platinum. If you're not scratched or dented, you're getting 10. So uh, two black refractor 10s on the Mike Evans, and then we have a Brady Prism Air Marshals Prism Mint 9. This is really cool. 92 Fleer Frank Thomas PSA 10 for the registry on this one, just from a pack. I got boxes of this for like six or seven bucks from Baseball Card Exchange and just, just kind of had some fun with them. I actually got this in the pack too. It's a cool insert. So Mint 9 on this Frank Thomas. And then the cow was from the same box. So Mint 9 on this cow. 92 Fleer insert. And then we got some Frank Thomas scores here. I'll just try to do these at once. Um, so. Didn't do as well as I thought I'd do on these score Frank Thomas's, but a mint nine, another mint nine. Here's a PSA ten. I think the ten's worth about twenty bucks. I don't know. And there's another mint nine, and then another mint nine. So I mean, obviously you'd like to see tens on a card like that, because it's probably only worth about a dollar. But uh, can't have it all. And then here's another one. Here's another PSA ten. Of the score, we've got a Jeter Collector's Choice 95 Mint 9, so pretty good with those uh, blue borders on the front, that bottom edge Mint 9 there, and then uh, and a couple more scores, and these were a little shabbier. Eights on these, so it's pretty rough. So tons of Frank Thomas scores. I probably wouldn't, if I had to do it again, I wouldn't send so many, and I'd send about five maxims. But I uh, can't do it again. Already sent them. Uh, so here's some thicker cards, and these were a little shaky. But I mean, a lot of people know PSA grade's a little tougher on the thicks. So Michael Thomas is an immaculate patch to 99, mid 9. And I don't have a lot of thick cards in this order. But this is one of the boxes with thicks. So uh, just a kind of a tops tribute Mike Trout relic to 99 from 17. Uh, 8. So. Not too special there. This is this is cool though. This is out of five. This is a Derrick Henry. Um, it's an eight five, but it's got like a part of the logo in that. It's just a sweet card. Hope, I don't know how many how much work he'll get this year. Probably pretty similar to last year. So, um, but the the positive of that is he won't get a uh, a lot of uh, mileage on the tires and he'll be able to play longer. Uh, Reggie Wayne. This is actually really cool. It's out of eight fifty. I think the first uh, fifty were autoed. I'm just kind of guessing on that, but an 8 on that Reggie Wayne. We got a Lynch uh, Ultimate Collection, 8-5, and that's pretty solid. This is a badass card. He looks really good on Sunday, too. So Ultimate Collection, 8-5. Um, here's an SP Authentic Lynch with a nice patch, 8. Look how big his uh, auto was in this. Michael. This is a uh, Black Diamond patch to, to 990. Or <laughs> reading it wrong to 149. I thought that seemed kind of high for a patch. Eight on that. We've got the Ultimate Collection Gold, which is just filthy to 25. And this one got an eight, which is pretty solid, considering the outline of the border is in uh, gold. Here's a Peterson um, Sweet Swatch Jersey Nine from uh, Sweet Spot 07. This was kind of rough. Uh, SPX Derek Johnson. I must have missed something here. But a seven on this, I was expecting an, an eight to nine. So that's a Derek Johnson, Andre Johnson, and then Artemi Panarin who got traded. Uh, UD Premier patch to ten eight. So a little rough on the six, but it's kind of to be expected. So I'm not shocked on those. Here we go. Eighty nine Donruss Griffey. Here's a mint nine. That's cool. And those are pack pulled. Uh, Francisco Lindor Chrome Rookie 10. That's pretty sick. Frank Thomas, another nine on the tops, 1990. So I bought a lot on eBay and uh, 
tried to pick the best ones and I guess they were just uh, the best ones were nines not tens uh, Diamond Kings Barry Bonds 94 8 so still a cool card uh, De David Johnson Prism 10 so Prism 15 like we talked about pretty easy set um, triple play Griffey I don't have this one and it's black borders um, although the cards come pretty crisp out of the pack but um, a midnight on this looks good and I'll add that to the registry so I'll put that in the, the stack um, here's a Frank Thomas Diamond Kings 97 that one's out of uh, 10,000 and this one got a near mint 8 on the Frank Thomas and then an Amari Cooper College 8 so that's a massive failure expecting a, a 10 on those ones it's just not that much that can go wrong guys uh, Griffey I was hoping for an 8.5 or higher but I'll probably just stick this in the collection because I, just from experience buying these raw they're usually always dented up and most of them look like sixes or sevens so an, an eight's actually pretty good so out of 10,000 and then we got the Manny 96 out of 10,000 as well eight so a little lower on these diamond kinks but they are condition sensitive so uh, Manny this is a Bowman's best, best red from 95 mint nine get some water real quick Uh, Manny Machado, Bowman Chrome 13 rookie, 10. Adrian Beltre, this is a second year Bowman's best, just a base, but it's a mint nine, so that's pretty cool. Here's a Jameis Winston, there's a couple of them, a couple prisms, both tens. Um, so, I mean, these are just, you get one probably every other hobby box, or maybe every third, but those are pretty, pretty uh, easy to grade. Here's a McCaffrey score. 2017. So here's a 2017 card that uh, slipped into the order. 10 on that one. We've got uh, Griffey. <laughs> this is one of the head scratchers. Six. So I don't know. It's probably something on the surface that I didn't see. So six on that. But it does have a low pop. Uh, base 11. Uh, AJ Green 10. And then a mint 9 from 89 Donruss. So I did pretty good on the Griffey. 89 down rushes to get these nines and then another nine so I mean I'm holding my own on the Griffey down rushes <laughs> so many cards this is nuts uh, 94 Bowman chipper so here's a PSA 10 that's filthy so there are a lot of cool 10s in this order uh, here's a Trout, one of those uh, Rising Alumni 8.5, the uh, green version. Uh, here's another head scratcher, so PSA 6 on this 1990 Don Russ. I don't know if it's a surface, like, wrinkle, but I mean, I don't know. What do you guys see? It's probably hard for you guys to see. You know, I mean, you got to have the card in hand, I, I mean, I think, to get an accurate assessment of it. Uh, UD Victory Taze 9. Here's a Matsui. I just got this in a hobby box and I checked the prices on tens and it was like 25 bucks. So I was like, oh, it looks pretty clean. I might as well send it in. Uh, an eight on this Pacific Prism 95 Griffey. Those uniforms are badass though. There's the back of this one. It's a neat looking card though. That was from ComC. Uh, Mancata Bowman, 96 Bowman's Best uh, Refractor looking card 10. Not numbered on that. We've got a 95 Pinnacle, just the base, but Chipper Jones 10. So. A nice chipper. Here's a Frank Thomas Fleer Update Rookie, Mint 9. We've got LeBron James. They actually mislabeled this. This is the Upper Deck MVP Silver, but they didn't put the silver in there. So it's a little disappointing, but you have to figure they are human, they're not robots. Um, so a bunch of these Durant Finest, so a 9. And I, I bought these in a lot. About a year ago, so his stuff's gone up since then, I think. Here's a 10 in the finest, and they're just finest bases. But uh, I paid like 15 or 20 bucks per. I don't know what they sell for now. Here's a mint 10, but from my experience, grading tops finest cards, they're pretty easy to grade. They just, uh, the type of card stock and foil just uh, hold up well. So there's a mint 9, and then another mint 9. So did well on those. Here's a nice one. Uh, Longevity Aaron Rodgers rookie to 5.99 mint or uh, PSA 10. 
so that's filthy. Here's a Tony Gwynn. This is a Desert Shield. Um, I'm not sure what the six is coming from, but this one got a rough six. There's the shield right there. So PSA six on that one. Uh, Patrick Kane. This is actually the parallel version to 100. We saw the base version earlier in the order, and that is an eight. Here's an Adrian Beltre Bowman Chrome eight. So a little disappointed on that one. And then we have a Primary Colors Vic uh, Red to 25. PSA 8. Here's some Jeters. Um, we got a Calvary Kin 96 Flare Mint 9. This is a low grade 95 SP Jeter PSA 8. So, just the SP. Yeah, just a 95 SP. There is a championship edition in that set, but. And here's here's another one. So so there were two of these tops uh, PSA 10. So I I did well on these tops Jeters. So uh, I'm happy about that. And then here's a mint nine. So pretty pretty solid guys on those ones. Uh, here is an upper deck where I did not fare as well. So eight on this one, and then another eight. So not too great on those, but we did good on the top. So can't have it all. And then uh, select, which is probably the most sensitive because of the green. Um, I'm solid mint nine, so that's pretty cool. And then collector's choice um, 94s. These were all off of uh, COMC, so a mint nine. This is a second year Jeter, and then a PSA 10 in this one. So that's cool. And then another one. This one got a six, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I. Naked eye wise, it looks like the other two, but I mean, you got it. I'll, I'll put this thing under, under the light and try to get a better indication. Here's another six. So I'm grabbing the sixes, select. So don't know, guys. I'll have to take a look. It's my fault, though. Uh, upper deck minor league, mint nine. That, that's good. Cool looking card. Here's an upper deck minor league road to the show nine. You don't see this one slab very often. We've got some 95 upper decks, so an 8 on this one. This is a third year Jeter, and a mint 9 on this one, so decent. Um, collector's Choice Special Edition mint 9, and an 8.5 on this one. So I'll, I'll keep the 9, so the 8.5, and then I, I guess I got two mint 9, so I'll just put a mint 9 in the store too. And we've got the uh, Select Certified. This is a neat looking card. 95 PSA 10. So overall, I think I did very good on Derek Jeter cards. I mean, there were some head scratchers, but I don't know. And this is a really cool one. I think it's pretty condition sensitive with this foil, this uh, silver foil. So a mint nine on this one. This is a 95 Bowman. Neat card. I think that sells raw for like 10 bucks. So. All right, uh, SPX 14. This is the 96 uh, looking hologram Peyton Manning 10. Bo Jackson 87 tops. I just uh, went for this one. That's from a wax box. So is this one uh, 85 Donruss, Dave Winfield 9. So I was expecting, I was looking for a 9 or higher on that. So I can't complain there. And I'll probably just keep that. It's a neat card. I just, I just really like the old baseball cards. They're so cool. 86 top straighted bond. So this is good. A mint nine on this. Th th that card's been going up too. Um, this is really neat. 97 Fleer, just a base, but I mean, it's a neat card. PSA 10 and the Griffey. Always respect the PSA 10s of the Griffeys. And then these were good because the, the borders are gold. So, but I think the stock uh, holds up well in these tops gold. So a couple tens of the AJ Green, and they're numbered to the year of his rookie year. So that's pretty neat. I'll put one in the store. Uh, this has a mark on it. I don't know. It's on the back. I uh, saw it. It's like a guy was like writing, and he wrote on top of paper. So there's like an indention. So it's got a nine with the MK qualifier, which you don't see that very often. Um, this is nice. 83 tops, George Brett. This was out of a pack. PSA 10. So that's pretty cool. 
94 collector's choice. This is not the silver signature, just the base by Chipper 10. Here's a Brett 82 Donruss Diamond Kings Mint 9. It's a neat card. Uh, Mancata. I don't know if this is an SP, but somebody can probably f fill me in on that. Topps Heritage Rookie 10 in the White Sox uniform. Here's a Fitzgerald uh, Fleer Tradition Base 10. This is neat. He's having a monster year. Uh, Marcel Azuna Chrome Auto from 12 Bowman Chrome. This 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 is the base one. Mint nine. Uh, we got a Carson Wentz score rookie ten. Like I've said with score, they're they're easy to grade. Uh, Ninety one score, Griffey eight five. This is cool. This is a press proof brown, so it's uh there is two thousand of these, and it says uh, one of two thousand. A uh, mint nine in the Griffey. Uh, Mancata eight five. This is just the Bowman paper, so that's pretty disappointing. And then here's uh, one of the coolest cards in the whole order. Bam! There it is. Got it. <laughs> uh, PSA ten eighty nine Donruss Griffey, and I pulled it in a pack, so that makes it even sweeter. So that's just cool. I'm always ranting about that card. Uh, Bowman Chrome. This is uh, the the Lindor rookie, and this is a PSA ten. So get to the next box. All right, here we go. Thicker cards here. Um, this is a neat one, though. So Jordan Howard. This is a uh, certified 17 gold and. Uh, just a great looking card. Um, I was going to send this to Beckett, but I haven't submitted to Beckett in a while. I'm actually prepping an SGC order, just for the hell of it. But uh, Gold Patch Auto from 17 Certified Jordan Howard. That's a PSA Mint 9. And then we have um, some Frank Thomas scores. So I, I, I went way too heavy on these in this order, but um, you can't really go back in time and change what you're doing. So we just have to uh, take a look at the cards and uh, go from there with it. So... Uh, this is a mid, a mid nine, so and I'll probably put most of the mid nines and eights in the store. Here's an eight five, so I'm just not picking something up on these scores. Um, it is a white bordered card, so um, there must be something deceptive there, or I'm just not doing it. Honestly, just not doing a uh, good enough job. But I mean, a mid nine on this card, that that means there's probably one little imperfection that's off that's keeping it from a ten. So. Um, it's not all bad. And then here's a PSA 10. So there were a few 10s, tons of 9s. 8, 8, 5 in the 1990 score, Frank Thomas. Um, in, the, in all, I think I sent about 10 to 15 of these in this order. So a little top heavy. So uh, mint 9 on this one too. So some Frank Thomas scorecards. Here is an uh, UD Authentics Amari Cooper. This is out of uh, Upper Deck 15. This got mint 9. It's out of 500. Not the neatest card, but it's still not terrible. Um, nice patch on this. This is Treasures uh, 16, Derrick Henry to 99. It got an 8.5. Here's a Cooks. This is nice. Uh, this is his uh, RPA from Spa 14, and these boxes have exploded in price, mainly because of uh, Derrick Carr, I believe. So a PSA 10 on this Cooks. Great patch, great card. And then this, I actually got this for like, 30 bucks was uh, right before he went to the Patriots and Cooks' stuff was pretty low. I don't know why. He'd, some players just don't sell as as well as others, and that's just the way it is. So, <laughs> uh, This is the inscribed 1 to 10 with the Nike. There it is. Uh, 1 of 7 of 10, sorry. So, mint 9 on that. We have another Cooks, and this is a Trezor's like, triple relic. Two patches and one. It looks like a decal or something but a mint nine on this one this one's out of 25 here's a Charles um, triple threads I think it's just like the base version it's out of 99 so a Charles 85 triple threads rookie jersey and another cooks quad patch out of 10 PSA 8 so not the best grade on that so we did pretty average on the fix which, which is to be expected Grab some water. My throat 
gets dry when I'm filming these longer videos. So I've, I've never filmed a video this long. I mean, for some people this is just going to be too much, and I totally understand that. Just, you know, skip through it and check out some other content if you want to. But for some people, I think they're going to sit down, you know, grab some popcorn and a beverage and just, uh, I don't know, sort cards and watch the video. So uh, Studio 98, David Ortiz, back with the twins, a mid nine on that. We have a Nolan Ryan 87 tops with the Astros PSA 9. Uh, Randy Moss, Upper Deck 1998, mid nine. This is uh, one of my favorite cards, actually. Love it. I love the Moss Upper Deck and I love the Ultra. Just the uh, base, the base versions are just classic and timeless to me. Uh, we've got a Pete Rose. This was out of a wax box that I opened. Mint 9 on this, so solid with the Pete Rose. We have uh, Reggie Jackson Mint 9. That's cool. Those shades are like a cop's cop glasses or something. So I, the reason I sent some of these older baseball cards in is I was just, just having fun with it, you know. Um, I wasn't too obsessed and caught up with, you know, getting tens on all of them. And then obviously I didn't even come close to getting tens on all of them. Bunch of eights and nines, but I, I mean, I still tried. So I'll probably shift my uh, methods of grading after seeing this order. So uh, UD Vintage Breeze, mint nine. And then same card, same grade, mint nine. This card's really, um, it's probably one of his least valued uh, rookie cards. It's just not a uh, highly sought after set. We have a UD Victory. It's got a 10, so that's nice. These these are grade pretty easy because of the white everywhere. Here is a upper deck graded Vic eight, so struggled a little on this one. This one's out of five hundred. This is pretty neat. I I don't know if I have this one um, in my uh, registry already, but if I don't, I'll, I'll definitely keep it in 8.5 because I know this set's sensitive. Uh, Studio 96 Master Strokes to 500, or 5,000, excuse me. Griffey. Uh, so something <laughs> something got me on this. Chipper Jones Triple Play 94, just like a really low end card, like a 50 cent card. But I was hoping to turn some 10s on this, a 7, so that's uh, pretty shabby. I was pretty happy with this uh, strawberry. This was just out of a pack. But, um,. It's got like some fuzz here on the top right, and uh, but aside from that, I mean, honestly, this card looks perfect to me. I don't know what else is. Uh, you guys think it looks all centered? I'd have to take a look at the ten and put it side by side, but this card looks great. So mint nine in the strawberry. Um, here is a long ball leaders Griffey. I think I have a PSA nine or ten of this at home, so I probably won't keep this one. But uh, this is out of five thousand from ninety-seven down us an eight. Uh, Piazza. Bowman Foil 94, mint 9, so pretty good on that. And a lot of these are Com C cards. This is definitely a Com C card for probably like a buck or a buck 50. Um, so we tried some 87 Donruss from, uh, I got a few boxes of that in. So Bo got an 8. This one's off centered clearly. Um, here's a Maddox 8. So I'm not too good at uh, reading this set. So I, th I thought these looked pretty good. It looks centered well. There must be something on the back that's deceptive. And then a Bonds 8, so really getting the 8 and the 87 Don Russ cards. But uh, it is what it is, guys. This is pretty sick, though. Uh, Pinnacle 96, Manny, first rate, PSA 10. Uh, Barry Sanders, this is the 1996 SPX uh, hologram, kind of like die cut card, 9. And then we've got a Strawberry Donruss, um, 84, mid 9 on that too. So I did good on the uh, Strawberry Rookies. That's a pretty cool card. I didn't I didn't know too much about Strawberry. I mean, my clearest uh, memories of Strawberry were him playing for the Yankees and like getting caught up in drugs or something. But I was... A little too young to watch him when he was in his prime, kind of in the 80s with the Mets. 
But him and uh, Eric Davis always kind of go hand in hand to me. They're kind of in this from the same era. Uh, here's an upper deck graded Vic 10. So we got tons of mandatory Vicks in this order. Uh, Jordan Hobbard, this is the Elite Green 1099. 81 Donruss from a wax box. Uh, Nolan Ryan, mid nine. So that, that's a neat card. I'm going to keep that one. We have a, this is a, a little disappointing, Circa Icons, Ken Griffey Jr., PSA 8. Really, really slick card, though. Look at the shine on that thing. Here is a pretty sick card right here. The, the upper deck, Alex Rodriguez, PSA 10. So we did good on this one. This card just looks crispy. Uh, 2012 SP Authentic Russell Wilson 8. So I missed something there because these should be easy 10s if you're doing your job right. It's not really a job, but if you're, you know, checking your cards out right. Uh, Fran Francisco Lindor, the Tops USA. I sent him about five or six of these in. So this one got a 10. And then this is the 98 Studio, but this is the Silver Press Proof. And these aren't, like, numbered the uh, normal way. I thought it said like one of, yeah, it's out of a thousand. It's not numbered though. Let me see if the camera will get it. There it is. Uh, one of a thousand. So there's a, a thousand of this basically, which is actually a pretty low print for a, a 98 issued card. Uh, this is a little shabby. 8.5 on this 91 Bowman Griffey, but um, it's not a terrible grade. And it looks nice in the, the holder. So I'd, I'd say 300 of these cards or more will go into the store. And then here's a PSA 10 of the 91 Bowman Ken, so that's slick. Uh, missed something here, Pudge, PSA 8 from 91 Bowman. Here's just a uh, low-end card here, a Finest 14 Xander Bogart uh, PSA 10. So, as I've said with Finest, not too much to worry about really. Uh, game day tickets. This is just like a <laughs> really low end insert of Zeke, but I thought it was a 10, so I sent it 8 5. So disappointing on that. Um, this is the single diamond, so just the base of the black diamond moss 8 5 on this. So we're kind of struggling a little bit here. Um, here's another Tops USA uh, Lindor 10. We have a 2003 um, Hoops Hot Prospects Cream of the Crop LeBron James Rookie Mint 9 It's not numbered It's just like a low end uh, Insert of LeBron From his rookie year What's that We have the David Ortiz Leaf Rookies and Stars I just thought this was a neat card 8-5 um, on this one So I was hoping for a 9 But an 8-5 It looks pretty nice A little white showing On those bottom corners though um, This is pretty sick 1991 Fleer, George Brett 10, so this was just out of a pack. This uh, Fleer, Fleer 91 stuff's not too expensive. Piazza, this is Triple Play 94.8, so that's shabby. It's just a, a lot of cards that, you know, they're like 50 cent cards that I thought were going to be 9s or 10s that came out 8s or 7s. That That's the biggest disappointment of this order. Um, then here's a 95 Tops Mint 9. I just love this uh, photo. I think it's cool. And his gloves, the Mizuno catching mitts, which I always thought were badass when I was a kid. So there's the Piazza. I'm going to keep that one. I don't have that. We've got five boxes left. So maybe another 15 minutes of shooting. Then I can put all these together and finally get this uploaded. I've been trying to get this, this uploaded for days. Uh, Beltre, Bowman. Bowman 99, Mint 9, or Bowman 97 rookie. That's nice. And then we have an 8, so there's an 8 of the Bowman rookie. Here's a Cal Ripken. This was out of a uh, boxed set. I, I believe I just bought this set and then pulled out the stars and tried to grade them. See that centering? How um, off center the back is? PSA definitely puts more stake in the front centering, but. Um, this card still looks pretty nice, so an, an 8 on this Cal Rookie. 
Um, this is an extremely hard set, so I was shocked to see a 10 on this, just because I've sent so many Breeze, Vicks, and Tomlinson's in from this set, and I don't think I've ever gotten a 10, so a 10 on this uh, Reggie Wayne. This is sick. Elite 2001. <clears throat> this is nice, too. 1998 Leaf Rookies and Stars, Beltre, PSA 10. This is the same set as the David Ortiz we saw a few minutes ago. So 10 on this. Here is a Sandberg Fleer rookie, 8. Off center. The first thing that I uh, notice about this one. Here's a cool Frank Thomas Flair 96. I broke a box of this stuff and just pulled the stars aside. And the ones I thought that were gradable. I did notice that a lot of the cards were scratched on the surface just um, straight from the pack. So there's nothing you can do about that. Um, I struggled on these, these tops. 87 bonds cards, so 8-5 on this one. I think the other two got 8s. That 3 is coming off, but I think a lot of them were, were like that. Here's Piazza. Uh, the same as the Frank Thomas, the Flare, PSA 10. 96. Here is an older Tony Gwynn card. 85 Donruss, mint 9. Something else from a wax box, so mint nine on this going. So there is a ton of baseball in this order, but uh, this thing was prepped in June, so I was definitely in full on baseball mode. It's shifted somewhat to football now, but I, it's probably about half and half. Chipper 96 flare mint nine. This is cool. Piazza Diamond Kings, and these are very condition sensitive mainly on the front they're just some they're almost always chipped up so this one looks <laughs> perfect to me but mint nine on this piazza we've got a manny this is just his top space 94 uh, i was looking for a 10 on this one but a mint nine will do i'll throw that into the registry and call it a day go on to different cards um this is a nice one skybox thunder starburst very sensitive set i would uh, love to see the pop on this one but this one looks really really clean i was excited to send this one off so a mint nine on this skybox thunder moss and we've got the ud choice mint nine and then i was hoping for a higher grade on this but i think the the top front left corner is just a little bent back so an 8-5 Piazza, I thought it was neat because it's one of his only cards where he's in the uh, Marlins uniform. Um, he actually played for them for one week back in 1998, so <laughs> it's just a neat card. I'll probably just keep it just because of the, uh, he's in the Marlins uni, it's cool. Um, this is neat, so this was just, I uh, bought it off of eBay, I think. Fleer Update, Bonds, Mint 9. I think this card's been going up too. Oops, I knocked the card over. Some high stacks over here. Um, here is a Reggie Jackson 75 tops. I, I just bought it raw and it looks pretty clean, so I thought I'd try it. PSA 7 on this one, so it's a neat card. Uh, Pete Rose 81 Donruss, PSA 8 in the Phillies uniform. And then uh, Tory Holt. I don't know if this is creased on the back or what's going on with this, but this one got a six. So that's another head scratcher. So there's a lot of head scratchers in this order. Stuff that I must have missed going through all these cards. It's all right. Uh, Tops 99, David Ortiz. PSA 10. So this is a third year David Ortiz card. Still on the Twins. I think he went to Boston in 2001. And a Brady Super Bowl Heroes from 15 Prestige. Just a uh, low-end insert, a graded 10. And then Tom Brady. I think there's a few of these ones. Yeah, this is just his MVP contenders from 14 contenders. Just These come out of the pack really fresh. And I uh, thought they were good candidates. So Mint 10 on, or Gem Mint 10. Uh, Mint 9 on this one, the second one. And another PSA 10, so did well on those. Here's another Tom Brady. Um, this is Prism Fireworks, so we got two of these. Uh, one got a 10, and the other got a 9, so 15 Prism Fireworks insert. 
Here is a helmet, the helmet die cuts from 15 Prism. 10 on this one. These just, these just come out of the pack clean. I mean, some sets are just like that. Here's a triple play Griffey. Uh, I, didn't, I don't have this one, so it'll be nice to put this one in. So PSA 10, throwing the, I don't know how they took this picture. It's weird. <clears throat> Uh, Charles, this is the copper refractor. It's out of 425. Uh, PSA 9 on that one. And then uh, LeBron, Upper Deck Honor Roll, 2003 rookie, award performers 10. So that's neat. And this is a really tough set. Um, it's Victory 03, and it's also known as our, the AKA King insert in the high school uniform and there's just minimal minimal chipping on this with the black borders and I've, I've seen a lot of these raw and they're chipped up pretty bad uh, this is the ultimate collection 03 gold LT to 75 and this one got a 10 so that's sick upper deck MVP breeze 8 so kind of shaky, shaky with that one Topps Chrome Base, Charles Rookie 10. Didn't have this in a tent. <clears throat> it's like a dollar card, but it's neat to have it slabbed up. I'll always be a fan of Charles. And he actually played pretty well on Monday night. He, he did lose a fumble, though. Um, this is in 1998 Upper Deck Griffey. All-Star game in the right corner, mid-9. Mid Here's a Jeter insert from 98. Define the game. PSA 9. Another Griffey from 98. This is the Griffey Jr.'s Hot List 8. So definitely missed something on this one. And then um, this is kind of neat. 1990 Star, the Platinum Edition. This is the Career Stats one, PSA 9. And this is definitely in the uh, registry. So tons of Griffey's to add. <laughs> All right, 98, Revolution, Peyton Manning, 8-5. Not bad on that. Very shiny card. Kind of reminds me of Unparalleled. Um, this is the, it's either the SP or the factory set SP. I'm not sure on that. I can't, I can't remember the photos. I think it's the factory set one. PSA 10 on that. Uh, upper Deck, Reggie Wayne, 9. This is cool. Museum Collection Chipper from 95 Pinnacle, Mint 9. Uh, Mookie Betts, Bowman Chrome 2014, Base, PSA 10. Fitzgerald, this is an Elite 04 to 500, 8.5. Tough set there. Never gotten a, a 10 in that, on that set either. And then 93 Ultra Manny, PSA 9. That's just a cool looking card. I believe this was just out of a pack. Here's a cool one. Finest 2001 out of 1999. Ken Griffey Jr. Just uh, it's numbered, but I think it's the base card from that year. Uh, Derek Carr, Bowman Chrome Base, 10. Tom Brady, uh, Prism, Prism Refractor from 2015, 10. Here's a Piazza, and that, that's a cool photo. That's cool. They don't do cards like this anymore. I don't know. 8-5. Here's a Seeger Top 16 Base Rookie, 10. Uh, George Brett, 87 Leaf. I don't know. I thought this was Donruss because I got it in a pack. I don't know if it's uh, mislabeled, but I, th I think this is Donruss Diamond Kings. Mint 9. Uh, Top Scrum Peterson, 10. That's just the base one. Um, I just sent this in for the hell of it. This, used to, this would be a great card for uh, 
bulls and bears out of 1500 SPX uh, young star Sariano auto mint nine Uh, Schwarber, Red Ice, 10 out of 150. That's sick. Manny, uh, 93 Bowman, PSA 10. So I think I got one 9 and one 10 in this order. So the, I'll probably sell the 9 and keep the 10. Honestly, they they look exactly the same though <laughs> from the naked eye. Uh, Bowman's best, David Ortiz, 9. That's 98, so a second year David Ortiz card. Lumber Company Griffey, 8.5 from 94. And a Nolan Ryan, 83 tops, 8. So, a little shabby there with the Nolan Ryan tops. Alright, uh, this is cool. 94 Upper Deck Piazza, PSA 10. horizontal type card here's a Barry Bonds bomb squad 94 triple play I always thought this insert was cool when I was a kid so mint 9 on that this is actually a pretty rare card it's a uh, flare it's the uh, legacy collection it's out of 100 Manny Ramirez mint 9 uh, Beckham this is another legacy, but it's from 14 Showcase. Um, this product didn't get a lot of... There weren't a lot of fans of it, let's put it that way. I saw Hobby Boxes down to like 25 bucks or 30 bucks after a, a year or so. So PSA 10 on this Beckham, the 150. We got Marcel Ozuna, uh, Chrome Refractor, gold. 2011 to 50, PSA 8. Uh, LeBron James, Prism 13, Dominance Orange to 60, I think. Yeah, 60. Right there in the back, that one got a 10. I'm not, not a huge fan of this card, so I'll throw it in the store. Got this, uh, I think I bought it raw. Connor McDavid, Upper Deck Trilogy 9. So there's a few hockey cards in this. 999. LT, this is cool. <laughs> I put a, this in a perfect fit for some reason. Uh, upper Deck Graded Action Pose. PSA 10. We have the score Calvin Johnson. This is the Atomic. PSA 10 on this one. Doing pretty good on this box. And then uh, Edge. This is Bowman's Best. It's actually an on card auto. The uh, Locker Room Rookie Autos, Mint 9. Couple of uh, Pinnacle 93s. I got pretty ex experimental on these. So uh, Donnie Baseball Mint Nine and uh, Frank Thomas Eight. So that's pretty rough. Black uh, borders, but I broke a box of it and the cards came out clean. Uh, Jameis Prism Ten, 2015. Just the base version. Here's a cool one. Fitzgerald Top Chrome. Um, 04 base mint 9 on card Tory Holt the same set as the edge from 99 PSA 10 on this one that's pretty nice the back of the card looks cool too uh, breeze upper deck ovation to 250 mint 9 Here's a private stock jersey of Breeze from his rookie year, eight. Here's a short printed uh, LT, two of 10, so you don't see prints this low from cards back then. Um, I got an eight, I think this was a Beckett, Beckett uh, nine that I snapped out and it was scratched all over the surface and I was like, oh geez, this could be a seven, but I, I got the eight, so that's fine. And then uh, we got one of these Vic, rookie championship tickets. I think this was in one of those BCC G10s uh, and it didn't look that like it was in that great a shape when I snapped it out and uh, got an 8. So I know those cases say like mint or better but I wouldn't trust any card from that little shindig side operation that they're doing. 
Uh, Skybox Thunder. I don't even know if they still do that thing. I don't know if people caught on to it. Uh, Thunder Moss 8.5. So, not bad. And the last box of the video. Two thousand eleven Francisco Lindor PSA ten. This is just the base too. Uh we've got an LT. This is the ultimate ultimate legacy. And it's the parallel version off of the nine 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 version, so this one's out of two fifty. Tough set though. It's usually chipped up. So an eight's not bad on this. This is cool. Chipper 96, upper deck 10. Just the base. There's there's the uh, crime dog in the background there. Um, kind of shabby here. The Elite Series 94, Griffey to 10,000. PSA 8. This is just a cool insert, though. These were tough pulls, too. Uh, Vic Ovation. There's a couple in here. So there's one 9. And then one 10. So... And this set's very easy if you guys ever grade these Ovation Autos. Uh, Hosmer, 2011 Top Scrum Refractor, PSA 9 Mint. Here's a Machado Tops 100 from 2011 Bowman, PSA 10. Uh, Mancata, Top Scrum Base, PSA 10. And these sell for like 40 bucks in 10 form. Here's a Tomei Bowman. It, this card's pretty hot too. Uh, mint 9 on that. I don't have this one slabbed, I don't think so. I'll just keep this Mint 9. This looks good. Piazza, uh, this is the Elite Series 94, 85 on this one. Same set as the Griffey we just saw. So, did a little better on Piazza. And then Jamal Lewis. I sent this uh, mainly because of the patch. It's got this badass patch out of 2000. So Jamal Lewis. Whoops. And then this one got slaughtered to a six on this. I don't know what's going on with it either. But look at that patch, how sweet it is. So I'll just probably keep it in the six slab and just sell it as is. I don't know. Uh, this is just a cool card. It's because it's the Amon Green Rave. And I bought it raw for like six bucks. But it's out of 150. So PSA 7 on that one, not the best grade. Uh, we snuck this order in because this could easily be considered declared value over 100, but it's kind of right in that range. So Breeze in the background there, Mint 9, LT Auto. It's got a print of 230, I believe. Uh, Mark Cooper, this is the NFL Variation 10 on this one. It's a neat card. Awesome uh, photo by Panini there. Here's a Tarasenko, score gold. Uh, PSA 10 from 13 score um, we've got Carlos Correa Bowman Paper PSA 10 from 2013 uh, George Brett 89 Donruss PSA 10 this was out of a pack and this is it <laughs> last card of the order a Mint 9 Cam Newton PSA 9 base version and that is it, guys. So the close to 500. I, th I think it was like 495 or somewhere there, but I'm just gonna call it 500. It's close enough. Uh, that was. A we'll put the video together and try to get this thing out. Um, that's it. Later. All right, guys. So that is it for the order. Um, if I had to give it a, a grade, I would give it a B plus because um, I thought there were a lot of solid grades. I thought um, there were some tough sets that I did pretty well on. I thought there were a lot of uh, head scratchers too, cards that I sent in expecting nines or tens and coming back fives or sixes or sevens even. So um, overall tons of cards to order to to add to my PSA set uh, registries, um, stuff to throw into the store, tons of stuff to check out if, if you're a buyer and you like PSA slab cards. If you don't like graded cards, that's totally cool. Uh, I, to I definitely respect people that don't grade cards, but um, 
I choose the grade, and some people do. It just it depends on the collector and the person. There's so many different routes you can take in the hobby. This is just one route. I thought this video was a blast to make. Kind of exhausting doing all the talking, but um, I think a lot of collectors are going to definitely um, enjoy the video. So um, take care. Mm, also, if you, if, you, if you hung around for this whole video, my channel just hit 2,000 uh, subscribers, so I always promised a three-tier prize, and I'm not going to lie. So uh, I'm going to keep the promise, and um, so um, comment in the um, comment section. We'll do um, what I'm thinking of this off the top of my head, but um, okay. Who is my favorite rookie from the 2015 draft class? And uh, whoever names that first will get first prize. And then I guess second and third will be the people that can uh, name it second and third. So 2015 Pro Football Draft Class. Who is my favorite player from that draft? And that will be the trivia question. First three to put it in, we'll get it. First prize will be a um, $75 PayPal gift. Second, 50. Third, 25. So we're doing a, a little giveaway as appreciation for the channel support. And uh, that is it, so take care, later. I will post some more stuff in the uh, coming week. <clears throat>